uh, hi guys uh, welcome to my channel for another video uh, if you have not seen my previous video so please check the description and click on the link to uh, see the video um, hello friends uh, in this video we will go ahead and create product inventory and image class and then send this to our database to create a uh, class for product image and inventory so let's go ahead and create a class under under our model classes folder right so here i will go click right click on it and then click add new item click class okay name the class which is product i will go and click add it and now a class is created so i'll go put it as public okay and then i'm gonna go ahead and create another class let's go ahead and do it here create class name is inventory click on add and then another class name is p image and click on add okay do public here and then also change it to public all right so let's go back to our product class okay uh, in our product class uh, we are going to have fields so i'll go ahead and copy the required fields and then paste it here okay uh, let me paste here let it bigger so then you can you all can see it so here what i did um you know i will i already explained all those uh, annotation what does it mean right so if you're not seeing my previous video please do see it and you will understand what are this so here we have a primary key for this product class which is id and then the name of the product it means like if the product name is mango juice and then we'll use this property to key uh, to store the name of the product okay so uh, here you do see uh, required and the range is like 1299 uh, 999 that means um uh, that means price has to be in between one dollar to 999 dollars right and then you see the regular expression it means price is uh the price in the field it should be in decimal okay uh what i mean let me tell you what i mean so is it only going to accept if we put something like this okay but if you put 12 dollars right it will not accept uh because we already had a regular expression for this field and it will be validate if we have something uh like this after uh you know uh, if we have this it after decimal decimal okay so let me remove this and then here we have a description uh which is a maximum 2000 okay and here we do have p images right so you, you do see is a collection of p image so this is the class uh, that we will store the url for the image okay so let me go ahead and change this name of the class it was p images okay let's change it to p images all right so here i also have to put rename it and then add s okay all right so let's go back to product again so now you do see what it means right uh, a product could have multiple pictures right maybe you know five pictures 10 pictures so it would be a collection of pictures under the product table okay so that means uh one to many relationship okay so here we also have a category id and then category and then the home image url and in this table under the product we will also uh, uh keep the track of the home image for the product home image means like let's say we have a list of the products right and we will also provide a image on that list so each item will uh, will have home image okay so so then i will keep that home image in under product table all right so and then here the category id and the category uh, category id is the category class you know the category that we uh, we created uh, we did uh, created category class and then the pro the product should be under category let's say uh, mango juice apple juice uh, pineapple juice all those juice would be under juice category so that's why uh, we have a uh, category id here so then uh, we can map to map with our category class okay so uh, this is our uh, product class let's go ahead and uh, have an open inventory class here that we open the inventory class 
let me copy the properties and paste it here okay i just copy and paste it here so in our inventory class we also have a id and then the name of the in uh, name of the product uh, that we're going to track right and here i already explained so if you see here we have a purchase price uh, in our product class we have a price here so this is for selling price whenever we creating product right so we need to include the uh, price uh, uh, the selling price of that product and then we will go ahead and create inventory class uh, with the same info of the product okay but uh, that class that inventory class will have purchase price okay and then we will also going to declare the quantity quantity means like um, you know when we are creating product how many pieces uh, are we going to have in our system so when we are when we are going to create a product we will add the quantity okay so then now uh, we can uh, we can use those information to track the inventory okay now you have inventory class with the necessary uh, with the necessary fields okay so let's go ahead open uh, p image class right uh, in this class are we going to have let me copy fast and paste it there all right so here in this class uh, you do see we also have id and the product id because uh, every time we add new image so then we know which is the product this image belongs to so that's why we added a uh, product id here so then we can track the uh, uh, track the uh, uh, image for the product okay and then we do have a image url and then the product name the product name means like in this table if you wish to have these fields uh, you can have it if you do not wish uh, you know you can take it off so i just put it there uh, for just for you to understand i uh, know better so i put it here so now we do have a uh, uh, image table and then inventory and then the product table now what we're going to do we're going to push this to our uh, database okay but let's go ahead open your package manage console if it is not there uh, you can go ahead and open it from here as well uh, okay so let's select this what we are going to do we are going to also select a data access class here from you see data access if it is not selected and add my creation add new class to db you can have anything over here or ju it's just a message that uh you know to track what migration we have push okay and then what it is there <clears throat> So let's hit enter and it seems like uh, getting succeeded. Okay, it did, but what happened, it did, but actually it did not create anything because uh, what we have to do, we have to add those classes under the um, under the application DB context because we didn't add it here. So now we need to go ahead and add this, okay? So here, let's do public, right? Uh, I'll put something like this, prop, right and then copy this <clears throat> put it here and then put the name of the class that we create which is product okay and then keep this name is also products here i'll put another prop and then put db set then this should be inventory and then name put something like inventories uh you can have anything else you know you can keep whatever you want to prop then db set put p images that we created okay and then keep the name all right so now click on build let's see okay it's uh it's three succeeded go ahead and then run this again okay uh add migration i'll also need to delete that migration the migration that you created here add new class just delete this because uh, it was not uh we supposed to create okay we supposed to push so here now i'll go ahead and click enter and then it did succeeded again let's see how can we do see it here so make it a small i'll do a small changes over here as well so first of all we need to see the table so i, I do see the inventory tables is there 
and then on this inventory table i want this id to start from 100 okay and then this product table i want id to start from 1000 and then here i just want it from one and increase by one okay and uh, i think everything looks good let's go ahead and update the data update database okay all right so let's see if we see this table in our database okay so i'm gonna go ahead and open it go make uh, go ahead and open our uh, microsoft sql server management studio uh, let's do connect again here will be your server uh, server name and then your windows authentication click on connect and then look for the database that you created for this project so for me it is uh should be food stage db right here so if i go open and i do see the new classes or new tables that we push from our uh, back end so here we do see products and then p images and then the inventories and then the category classes so let's go ahead and open so i'll select the product class right click on it click on 1000 top i uh, selecting top uh 1000 data but actually we do not have anyone any any data but we do see the id and then the you know the table name column name here also so here i'll go no data should be here because we didn't push uh, okay so in our next video we'll go ahead and uh you know uh get the data from our product class and then display uh, display in the uh, in the uh, in the index space all right thank you thank you for watching the video see you in the next tutorial please do share like and subscribe the channel thank you bye